What are we launching off today? Well, we've got my uh, Estes Interceptor E that I've modified into a dual deployment rocket. And it takes both 24 or 29 millimeter motors. Right now I've got it set up with an um, Aerotech uh, 29-180 casing with an H128. And uh, we've got dual deployment charges on it, ran by a Raven altimeter. Uh, right now I'm getting the uh, uh, initiator ready to go into the rocket motor. Um, this first flight, um, it simulates out to around 1900 feet and it um, also simulates out to about a thousand foot of drift from weather cocking. So I'm turning it uh, out of the wind a little bit. We've got a slight breeze, so that should uh, be a little beneficial to us doing that. Hopefully, we won't land in houses and cause a big bunch of problems. It's, uh, and it's pretty hot. Huh? Yep. All right, we got the igniter set up. We're going to turn on the um, Raven screw switch through the sampling hole. On the uh, on board of the nose cone, I've got a GPS tracker, one of the uh, DC-30s from Garmin with uh, Astro 220 uh, to track it in case we lose it, which you know, who knows. But it's uh, we're ready to navigate. We're showing where it's at right now. Uh, it's pointing me straight towards it, giving me a direction in my azimuth and giving me my distance. So, we're ready to fire. We've got fire extinguisher setting out. Ready to go. Alright, we've got tone. We're going to launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Where did it go? <laughs> Where is it? Over there, up there, see it? Yeah. Okay, now we're home after launch. All right, so we lost communication with the GPS. Uh, for some reason, GPS decided to turn off while I was in the nose cone. Um, it works just fine. I don't know if the battery was shoved up against the switch or what during it, but what happened, the main problem that we had, both charges fired, but when the first charge fired, parachute came out so we had a lot of drift so you can hear right now the Raven altimeter given the height that we got we got a pretty a fairly uh, straight up flight and uh, we uh, our altitude is about 1,910 feet according to the Raven uh, which is about what it simulated out to both of the charges were one gram of black powder and for igniters, uh, or for initiators, I use Estes um, motor initiators. I know a lot of people don't like those, but they were potted out really well. They were isolated really well, and everything worked. And so far, I'm happy with what we achieved. Um, my parachute protector 
the one bad thing that we didn't do was we didn't attach the parachute protector in any way. So I don't know where it's at. It's floated away. So we'll have to get another one of those. I think also that uh, for the parachute, the 45 inch is a little bit too big. The 24 inch that came with it's too small, so I'm gonna have to get something in between. The parachute was singed a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, next time we'll just wrap it better. But everything else was Kevlar, so it lasted, and I made sure to tape up all the connections by where the uh, charges were gonna go off. So now I'm gonna pull it apart. I'm gonna turn off the uh, the Raven, and I'm gonna take and uh, get the flight data that's recorded and download it and get the flight profile. And, uh, all right, now we're off. And uh, the rocket's front. And the rocket's fine. Nothing's broke on it. Everything is intact. Everything's fared well. The motor retainer looks like it fared well. It is made out of a uh, medicine bottle cap and uh, it seems to survive the H128 fairly well. All right, thanks.